previously on Best Legends. So Bangalore drops straight into A, guys. What do you think about that? That's where Bloodhound belongs. His passive ability is one of the best passive abilities in the game. Caustic is the most toxic legend in the game. No pun intended, his entire ability set revolves around toxic gas. All right, next up, we have our boy Crypto. Oh my God, we have our boy Crypto. Crypto is one of the most difficult legends to use in the game. But don't get me wrong, he is not useless. He's just incredibly hard to learn and master. Let's check out his abilities. So his entire ability set revolves around his tactical ability, which is his drone. Without his drone, he can't really basically do much apart from shoot guns. So let's talk about his tactical ability, surveillance drone. Deploy and fully control a drone that can fly around and scan an area for various assets. Assets contain enemies, items, doors, loot bins, etc, etc. Once you have the drone out, then his passive kicks in. Crypto and his teammates can see whatever the drone detects up to a scan range of 30 meters. So his drone is kind of like Bloodhound scan, but it's just a constant thing. As long as your drone can see whatever is scanning, line of sight is not ob obstructed. So basically the drone can't see from outside of the building straight through a wall to, see, to highlight an enemy. It doesn't work like that. So you need to, so the drone needs a clear line of sight to be able to actually highlight anything so once the drone is out his passive then kicks in and you and your teammates can see whatever the drone scans within a 30 meter radius then we have his drone emp ultimate this drone emp ultimate is actually super super good if you can use it well what this does is the drone will enter like a self-destruct mode and it will emit an electromagnetic pulse which will damage every single enemy inside but well, within the range and it will deal 50 shield damage so that's two bars of shield hp which is absolutely Absolutely amazing because you can disrupt a fight before it even happens but like I said his entire ability set revolves around his drone his drone isn't fully automatic it doesn't follow crypto around I think that's actually gonna be a good buff but that's a story for another day you actually have to log into the drone and control it and fly it and position it to a place where you can start scanning now because you're flying the drone crypto is literally standing still like this controlling the drone and if an enemy sees you, they can clap you, you can, they can teabag you before they even start shooting you. Oh shit, wait, what? I got ass off here. Oh, it's a whole different third party. Well, you need to shoot at them, bro. Get off your drone. Why are you in your drone? What is your drone, bro? <laughs> I don't know what I did. I low-key got stuck on my drone. I was looking for the button to leave my drone. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how crazy this skill is. So if there's any legend that requires highest IQ to play, highest IQ to make effective, I strongly believe that is this boy right here, Crypto. But please don't don't get me wrong. He is not a bad legend. He is just super hard to use. This is one for people that really like to think that don't really like being in the front line people just like to stay behind and and provide eyes in the sky information for the team plan routes plan escapes plan how you're going to infiltrate that's what crypto is best for he is best behind the lines so please remember that i am not saying that crypto is a bad legend in fact let me make one thing clear right here right now there is no bad legend in the game you just need to know how to use them but some are obviously going to be better than the others which is why i'm making this video in the first place so crypto unfortunately as far as beginner legends go will have to go all the way down to the lowest category which is d even if you like to be the support role there are better support characters in the game such as bloodhound if you want to find and provide information bloodhound is still I, I believe better than crypto in a lot of ways like i said to you guys the whole point of this guide is is, is geared for beginners which legends are best to start with and i strongly believe that crypto is not one of them all right we've got gibby aka gibraltar all right let's talk about this big guy gibraltar over here Gibby. He is actually one of my favorite legends in the game. He is also one of the legends that annoy the hell out of me the most. A, because a lot of people use him, and because of that, there's a lot of people annoying to deal with. Let's go over his ability set and find out why he's so annoying to deal with. Starting with a thing that makes him super annoying to deal with, which is his passive ability, Gun Shield. When aiming down sight, Gibraltar deploys a shield installed on his offhand that will block incoming damage. This shield will cover Gibraltar's upper body area, but 
does not protect his legs or head. But this still makes him an absolutely annoying target to try and take down. Imagine you're in a 1v1. You're about to clutch. The, the guy is about to die. He raises his arm and a shield pops up. This shield can take an extra 50 HP's worth of damage, which is absolutely significant in tight gunfights. So as soon as Gibby lifts that shield, you only have a small window on his head to get him a shot and also the legs, which in effect gives him an instant 50 HP heal or protection. So annoying to deal with. And you don't even really have to do anything. All you need to do is do what you would normally do, which is aim at an enemy, go into, a go into your ADS and that shield will automatically come out. But that's why I also love Gibby because he's so self-sufficient and he's like a walking shield, literally. Then we have his tactical ability, Dome of Protection. Throw a disc on a surface to create a dome shield that will block all incoming and outgoing projectiles. Projectiles include bullets, missiles. Missiles include the missiles that come down from Bangalore's ultimate and also Gibby's ultimate. Yep, all those projectiles will be denied entry into the dome. Likewise, projectiles cannot be shot from inside the dome to the outside. So if you throw a grenade, that grenade is going to bounce straight back in. This shield is indestructible, meaning it will have to run out of time before it disappears nothing can get past the shield aside from players themselves any players enemies or teammates but like i said it's indestructible so nothing can destroy it and in shooter games especially in battle royale where a lot of things are out in the open having the ability to create cover when you don't have one is always a golden skill set then we have his ultimate defensive bombardment very very similar to bangalore's old calling an airstrike to drop missiles continuously in a large area so unlike Bangalore's ultimate where it drops in a linear pattern, Gibby can throw a flare down onto the floor and wherever that flare drops, a 20 meter radius will circle that flare and that's where the bombs are going to be dropped down on. The bombs are completely random and it doesn't have a pattern like Bangalore's ult. It doesn't slow enemies either but it does have a much faster drop rate in terms of drops per second. So if an enemy team gets caught in the middle of that area of effect, they are gonna get absolutely bombarded with lots of missiles in a small given time. So the best use for this is either when you knock enemies down or wanting to split a team or wanting to cause a diversion. There's a lot of use for this. It's actually a very, very good ultimate. But we don't want to get too much into that. That's a guide for another day. So taking in consideration his entire skill set, Gibby has the ability set to literally carry an entire team to victory. And not only that, his entire skill set is so easy to use. He's definitely a legend that you can solo with. He's definitely a legend that fits within any team composition. And you literally do not ever have to rely on anybody but yourself. And with that in mind, guess where Gibby is gonna drop on? Boom! He goes straight into S tier. Right there, now we have Lifeline. Lifeline is the best support legend in the game and that is not a matter of opinion. But let me make one thing clear though. Lifeline in Apex Legends Mobile, specifically not the PC or console version, her current version in the game makes her the best support legend in the game. And I will tell you why right now. Lifeline's entire skill set revolves around support. Nothing about her skill set is for attack. Everything is designed to help her team. Teammates. Starting off with her passive ability, which is why I said she is the best support legend in the game right here, right now. Passive ability, combat revive, deploy DOC to revive down teammates and also a shield that will protect teammates during the revival process. DOC stands for Drone of Compassion, which happens to be her tactical ability as well. But let's focus on the passive ability for now. This is why she is currently one of the best legends in the game, let alone being the best support in the game. She has the ability to run up to a teammate when they are down, deploy her drone and the drone will do the revival for her. So once she's drop the drone she can then get on with other things which is killing enemies or creating diversions or distractions or whatever anything else basically the drone will do the revival for her not only this a shield will also drop to protect whoever that drone is currently reviving and to top it all off this drone can also revive two teammates at the same time if they are close enough to the drone how insane is that a three player squad basically becomes a four player squad ridiculous and it doesn't stop there either you know the shield that the drone drops that thing is indestructible as well it doesn't have any hp the only way to get rid of that shield is to either destroy the drone or for the drone to finish all revival this thing was actually nerfed on pc this shield was completely removed on pc because it was just overpowered and for some reason they brought it back out and gave it to us in apex legends mobile which on its own shoots her up very very high on the tier list but let's cover the rest of her abilities 
phase before we do that, before we actually place her. Now we have the tactical ability, Drone of Compassion Heal Drone. The drone also has another use, which is the actual tactical ability. Deploy DLC to heal you and your teammates over time. The drone heals 8 HP per second, has a 3 meter healing range, and it can heal up to a maximum of 2 people at the same time. So whenever you get into a fight or before you get into a fight, you can release this drone and fight within range and you will be a harder target to take down because you are healing as you are taking damage. Now don't think 8 HP a second is a small amount guys, that is absolutely huge. And last but definitely not the least, ultimate care package. This ultimate ability can call down a drop pod that contains defensive and survival loot as well as weapon attachments. So basically a big drop pod comes down from the sky, drops down and has 3 slots. Each slot will always provide one of the following types, survival items, weapon attachments and shields. Absolutely incredible when you are playing games like Battle Royale where resources are very very limited. You literally have not only someone who can prevent you from dying, someone can also heal you, but someone can also provide you with more stuff, with more loot out of nowhere. So I'm gonna take a guess that you already know where I'm going to place Lifeline, right? That's correct! She is going straight into S tier. Absolutely fantastic character to get started with. Really easy to use, very helpful for the entire team. You can actually even play by yourself using Lifeline because you have your own care package, you have your own healing drone. You are literally a, a one man walking army or one woman walking army actually. So yeah, Lifeline definitely belongs in the top tier category.